بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اعزائي طلبه وطالبات شهاده الثانويه العامه قسم رياضيات لغات اهلا بكم طبعا ناخد درس النهارده مهم جدا جدا وهو الدوال المتغيره في دوال او بمعنى اصح ايه فايده الداله في حياتنا طبعا معظم الطلبه في الرياضيات هم مش عارفين مدى اهميه ماده الرياضيات في التطبيقات الحياتيه الدوال المتغيرة في عندنا أنواع كتيرة جدا من الدوال أولا إيه هي الدالة؟ الدالة هي طبعا عارفين إن هي علاقة بين تو فيريبلز يعني متغيرين الدالة دي ممكن العلاقة زي مثلا إكزامبل واي إيكوالز إكس بلس 1 فالدالة دي عبارة عن متغير ثابت ومتغير تابع فالدالة دي أنت بتستخدمها دايما في المصانع في شؤون العاملين في اي مؤسسه حكوميه في اي مؤسسه بتضم اشخاص الات بحيث انك تعرف الهدف لذلك في عندنا من انواع الدوال اسمها داله الهدف بمعنى لو انت عندك مصنع وعايز تعرف انك انت بتكسب او بتخسر فبتحدد انت عندك المتغيرات مين المتغير اللي عندك؟ المتغير العامل والآلة اللي انت هتستخدمها والماتيريال او المواد اللي انت هتستخدمها ومهمة جدا عامل الزمن بحيث انك توفر وقت وتوفر جهد وفي نفس الوقت بتربح كمية من المال او الهدف اللي انت عايز توصله ذلك الدوال دي مهمة جدا جدا في حياتنا اليومية Welcome my dear student in our math program for secondary 3 Today we are taking new title in differentiation is called implicit of trigonometry function. Look at my dear student introduction about this lesson. Implicit and parametric differentiation. Look at if we have y function of x is an implicit function if determines the value of y directly whenever the value of x is known such as example y equals 4x squared minus 5x plus 2 this function function of y if x equals 1 value y has one value is if x has two values also y has two values and so on thus if we find derivative of y dy over dx equals 12x minus 5 if we have y equals sine 2x plus 3 inside bracket what is the y dash sine derivative of sine cosine derivative of 2x is 2 then y dash 2 cosine 2x plus 3 but my dear student if y related to the variable x with an equation containing x and y together as example xy plus y minus 4 equals 0 this is not function why because x and y look at x multiply y if x has one value y has more values or x squared plus y squared minus 9 equals 0 this is function or equation defined as implicit relation between x and y each equation defining an implicit relation between x and y. Know that the equation, my dear student, xy plus y minus 4 equals 0. We can convert it to explicit. How? Look at my dear student. Can be written in the form take y common factor then 
we can write y multiply x plus 1 inside bracket equals 4. Therefore, y equals 4 over x plus 1. x not equals negative 1. y equals x. If x equals negative 1, y is 4 over 0 and fine. In this case, the implicit relation is definite as explicit function. The equation x squared plus y squared equals 9 by the same method. The equation of a circle, its center is origin point, origin point 0, 0, and its radius length is 3 units. Look at this x squared plus y squared equals 9 represent a circle, its center origin point, and its radius 3 units. From testing the vertical line, we know the relation x squared plus y squared equals 9. Doesn't represent a function. Why? Because meaning of the function, each value of x has one value of y, but in this case, each value of x has two values of y. y squared equals 9 minus x squared. Therefore, y equals positive or negative square root 9 minus x squared. Then y has two values. If x is, has one value, y has two values as positive or negative. The implicit functions the first y equals square root 9 minus x squared. Its domain negative 3, 3. What is the domain? The values of x. Its range is 0, 3, close the interval. And is differentiable for each x belongs open interval negative 3, 3. The second, y equals negative square root 9 minus x squared. Its domain closed negative 3, 3. Its range also is negative 3, 0. And is differentiable for x belongs of interval negative 3, 3. Look at the first example. My dear student, find dy over dx and place it function x power 3 plus y squared minus 7x plus 5y equals 8. My dear student, look at the solution. The first 3x squared plus 2y dy over dx negative 7 plus 5 dy over dx equals 0. We take dy over dx as a common factor. Therefore, right hand, left hand side became dy over dx multiply bracket 2y plus 5 equals 7 minus 3x squared. Therefore, dy over dx equals 7 minus 3x squared over 2y plus 5. If my dear student 3xy plus y squared equal x minus 7, find dy over dx. This implicit function. Why? Because look at the first term has xy. By derivative, the two sides of the equation with respect to 2x. My dear student, d over dx 3xy plus 2y dy over dx equals 1. The first term, what is the derivative of xy? First derivative second plus second derivative first. Therefore, left hand side became 3x dy over dx plus y times 3 plus 2y dy over dx equals 1. Therefore, my dear student, by taking dy over dx highest common factor, therefore the 
side or left hand side dy over dx multiply 3x plus 2y equals right hand side 1 minus 3y therefore dy over dx we divided 1 minus 3y by 3x plus 2y this is dy over dx look at my dear student another example find dy over dx if sine 2y equals y cosine 3x we have left hand side sine 2y right hand side y cosine 3x what is required find dy over dx look at the solution by differentiable both sides of equation with respect to x my dear student dy over dx sine 2y equal d by over dx y cosine 3x my dear student we remember this relation between sine and cosine what is the derivative of sine cosine what is the derivative of cosine negative sine my dear student left hand side what is the derivative of sine 2y x and 7 sine 2y is cosine 2y multiply 2 dy over dx but we find derivative of right hand side y cosine 3x we have two functions y multiply cosine 3x we find first derivative second plus second derivative first look at my dear student left hand side became cosine 2y times 2 dy over dx but right hand side became y multiply negative sine 3x times 3 plus cosine 3x dy over dx therefore dy over dx highest common factor multiply 2 cosine 2y minus cosine 3x equals negative 3y 3 sine 3x by find dy over dx by using 3y sine 3x over cosine 3x minus 2 cosine 2y my dear student look at another example find dy over dx f 10 2x plus co 10 y equals x y my dear student we know that implicit function this function very important why because we have two variables as joined with us as example x y if x multiply y this is called implicit function why because we have two variables two variables these two variables are joined with them as example if we have factory this factory has has members of Embolier and numbers of machines the machine is used when worker is find this worker is x machine is y this x and y adjoin with us why because machine the machine is work or is working when a worker is find x is a worker y is machine this is called implicit function when we find derivative of implicit function we did use other function to use it in this factory as example my dear student if we have xy what is the derivative of xy first derivative second plus second derivative first my dear student look at the solution when we find dy over dx if 10 to x plus 10 y equal xy xy is joined x multiply y by derivative both sides of equation respect to x 
d over dx 10 to x plus d over dx cotan y equals d over dx xy. The left hand side became 2 sec square to x minus cosec square y dy over dx, but right hand side x dy over dx plus y. As a first, we find dy over dx as highest common factor in left hand side, then the answer became dy over dx multiply fraction multiply bracket contains x plus cosec square y equals right hand side 2 sec square x minus y. After that we find dy over dx by 2 sec square x minus y over x plus cosec square y. This is dy over dx or derivative of y respect to x. My dear student, now we are translated to parametric differentiation. What do you mean of parametric differentiation? If we have y function of t, z function of t also, y f of t, z equals g of t. When we find which f and g have the same domain, the two equations together represent an equation to one curve expressed in the parametric form dy over dx equals dy over dt times dt over dx. y function of t and x function of t. The required find dy over dx. dy over dx equals dy over dt times dt over dx equals dy over dt divided by other method dx over dt. We have two rules. If we find dy over dx, we can use first rule or second rule. First dy over dt times dt over dx. Second rule dy over dt divided by dx over dt. Where f and g are two different functions with respect to time t. My dear student, look at important example. Find dy over dx fx equals 5 t plus 3 and y equals 16 t squared plus 9 and or when t equals 5. My dear student, this example x function in t, also y function in t. What is required? Find dy over dx when t equals 5. And the first, we have same two we have two solutions. We can use dx over dt and dy over dt and divide it, or we can use dx over dt or dy over dt times dt over dx. After that, we use t equals 5. Look at solution. When x equals 5t plus 3, what is dx over dt? x and 7 equals 5. Therefore, when y equals 16t squared plus 9, what is the dy over dt? equals 32t. Therefore, my dear student, dy over dx equals dy over dt times dt over dx. By substitution about dy over dt and dt over dx, 32 t over 5. When t equals 5, dy over dx at t equals 5 equals 32. My dear student, look at another example. fx equals 3 cosine 2 theta. 
also y4 sine 3 theta. Therefore, find dy over dx when theta equals pi over 4. My dear sir, look at the solution. When x equals 3 cosine 2 theta, therefore, dx over d theta equals negative 3 sine 2 theta times 2. Derivative of cosine 2 theta, negative sine 2 theta times 2. Then, dx over d theta equals negative 3 sine 2 theta times 2 or negative 6 sine 2 theta. This is d x over d theta. Since y equals 4 sine 3 theta, by the same method, find dy over d theta. dy over d theta, what is the derivative of sine 3 theta? x squared cosine 3 theta multiply 3. Multiply 4 also equal 12 cosine 3 theta. Therefore, dy over dx equals dy over d theta times d theta over dx. By substitution, about dy over d theta equals negative 2 cosine 3 theta over sine 2 theta and theta equals pi over 4. Substitution about theta equals pi over 4 or 45. Therefore, dy over d, d, dx equals square root 2. Now, we are translate the another example. Find derivative of bracket contains 4x power 3 minus 9x squared plus 5 with respect to 3x squared plus 7. Find the of bracket respect to bracket. Look at the solution. By putting y equals 4x power 3 minus 9x squared plus 5. Also, z equals 3x squared plus 7. We find dy over dx. After that, dz over dx, then divided dy over dx, divided by dz over dx. My dear student, y function of x, also z function of gx. Therefore, dy over dz equals y dash over z dash or equals 12x squared minus 18x over 6x. Look at numerator and denominator by taking 6x from numerator, highest common factor, after that divided by 6x, answer is dy over dz equals 6x multiplied 2x minus 3 inside bracket divided by 6x equal 2x minus 3. Therefore, dy over dz 2x minus 3. Therefore, d over d 3x squared plus 7 of 4x power 3 minus 9x squared plus 5 equals 2x minus 3. This is derivative of the function. My dear student, this lesson is very important. We have function as bracket. What is the required find derivative of the first bracket respect to second bracket. We putting or we put or we suppose the first bracket as y. y function of x. The second bracket is z. z also function of z. The required find dy over dz. What is dy y dash? What is the dz z dash? At the first, we find the first dy over dx. After that, we find dz over dx. We can find dy over dx by two methods. Maybe one person say dy over dx 
we make dy over dz multiply dz over dx. This is correct. Another one say we find dy over dx divided by dz over dx. Also correct. This is correct and the other correct. And this example, learn from it. If we have bracket of x and the other bracket of x, the required finds the derivative of the first bracket respect to second bracket. In this case, we suppose the first bracket is letter as y. The second bracket with other letter or different letter as z and we find dy over dz. dy over dz means derivative of the first bracket respect to second bracket. This lesson is very important lesson. Implicit function when we have function as x squared plus y squared equals 9, we know that this equation x squared plus y squared equals 9 is not function. Why? Because if we find y squared equals 9 minus x squared, the condition of the function, each value of x has one value or one image of y. But when we find y squared equals 9 minus x squared, we write y equal positive or negative square root 9 minus x squared. This is called implicit function. My dear student, by the end of the lesson, I'm very happy to spend such time with you. Thank you. Goodbye.